Make today your bitch. Episode 7. I've been getting a lot of feedback, which I am super appreciative of, on my past videos, whether it be on the ones that are firmly related to anxiety or the ones that I made for Facebook where uh, I was talking about how we need to come together to be a little bit more positive rather than shitting on each other on my Facebook newsfeed. So today I want to focus on Zoloft itself and SSRIs. I want to give a little bit of information on what an SSRI is and I want to give a little bit of information on why I loved Zoloft um, for the time that I was on it. So I want to start by giving you a little example of what happens in your brain between brain cells as a normal brain and then a brain that is on SSRIs. So you have two brain cells, right? And you have one that's passing chemicals to another and you have the space that's in between called the synapse. So you got the ones passing it, the neurotransmitters, and then you have the other one receiving the neurotransmitters. Um, and so what usually happens is when one's passing to another, not all of the chemicals are absorbed, and so they'll sit in the synapse. And so when there's an excess, the one that was originally sending the chemicals will reabsorb it, and it'll be passed on again, so that there's nothing left in the synapse in between. But what happens with an SSRI is when that neurotransmitter happens to be passed on from one brain cell to the other, and there's the, a little bit of serotonin left in the center, it will inhibit the one that was sending it to reuptake, and so what you have is this excess of serotonin sitting in that synapse. And so what it does is basically um, produce an accumulation of serotonin. And if you don't know what serotonin is, serotonin is basically like a feel-good drug, or a feel-good um, neurotransmitter. And the funny thing about it is that 95% of uh, that neurotransmitter, serotonin, is actually released within your stomach. Uh, because we actually have a lot of similarities between our brain and our stomachs, uh, nerve-wise. And I'm quoting this from a book called Super Genes. <laughs> Moving on from the little demonstration, now that you know what an SSRI is, a couple different ones that like fall into that category are Zoloft, which I was on, Paxil, Prozac, Celexa, and Lexapro. And I really wanted to explain how I felt about Zoloft and what it did for me, side effects that I had, things of that nature, so that if anybody's going on it, they can have a little bit of information before they decide to make that decision. Um, or if you're on it now, you could relate with somebody that used to be on it and is now off of it. So now that you know what an SSRI does uh, between your brain cells, and you know some of the drugs that are related with them. Uh, I wanted to go into Zoloft about why I am thankful for it, what it made me feel like within the first couple months, and then without, within the rest of the time that I was taking it, and third, the side effects that I felt from it. Um, and I didn't necessarily feel all the side effects all the time. Some of them I only felt during the first couple months, and some of them I felt only towards the end. So something important to know before I get into why I was thankful and the side effects and whatnot is that I was never about medication. Before I actually went on it, I fought with my mom, I fought with my uh, psychiatrist about going on it. Eventually, time came that I needed to do something. Um, and that's how I think medication should be personally. I think it should be maybe a, um, a last case scenario type of thing. I tried things like hypnosis and whatnot, but anyway, I didn't like being on, I didn't like the thought of being reliant on something foreign to my body for my own happiness, right? But what happened was, when I was on the medication, all these self-sabotaging thoughts, this negativity, this constantly putting myself down, being in my own way, started to dissipate. It was still there, but it wasn't as strong, it wasn't getting in my, in my way, and I was able to focus on things that were going to help me progress in my own life um, and progress to the point where I wouldn't have to be on medication. I can do what I needed to do without disrupting that, you know, that anxiety-ridden mind that I had, right? And slowly but surely, I began reading more. A lot of these books, I didn't, 
I did not start reading until um, until I really felt that I needed to. And I learned a lot uh, between Think and Grow Rich. This is a like the textbook for anxiety. I started reading books, listening to other people who had anxiety on YouTube, things like this. I did cognitive therapy. I started meditation. I did all these different things that would create new pathways in my brain to, you know, evade those old habits. I changed my, the whole way that I, I thought about life. I changed my lifestyle, really. But I wouldn't be able to do that without Zoloft. Zoloft gave me the ability to, you know, relax from those thoughts and do what I needed to do without getting in my own way. And that is exactly why I'm thankful for Zoloft. Um, I tried a couple different medications before I got on that. I was on Citlopram, I believe it's called, and Lorazepam. Lorazepam I didn't take every day. That's Lorazepam is actually um, a sedative. It's not an SSRI. So it kind of took away from who I am, which is a big deal um, to me because I didn't, that's not what I wanted, especially. So I ended up after about eight months of trying different things between hypnosis and those other two drugs, um, I ended up going on Zoloft and doing cognitive therapy. Once I was able to, you know, have these, this clarity, I got on this role of, you know, acting upon these things that I was learning, putting them into repetition, and building new habits. And it takes time. It took me two and a half years. I tried to come off of Zoloft in May of 2015, and I was off of it for three weeks, and those three weeks were hell. I was in my bed, which is to the right of the camera, and I did not move from it for a good amount of time. I didn't want to see friends. The whole bout, you know, the whole thing. I went back on it, and I kept doing the same things over and over again. Um, and slowly but surely, I got to the point where I felt like I was really ready for this. And I think meditation gave me that extra uh, cherry on top to, to get off of the medication, which I'm very thankful for. So now that you see why I'm so thankful for Zoloft, I want to explain how I felt in the beginning months. And how I felt really started to become gradually better over the course of when I first started taking it to uh, like say four months in and then it became a normal thing. It, like I said, was giving me that feeling of relief so that I can do the things that I want to do. Um, another thing that I felt for a very short period of time was nausea. And don't think because you're experiencing a little bit of anxiety in those first couple months that it's not working for you. It's just, you know, a matter of setting in. And I still felt anxiety over those, you know, those two and a half years, but it just wasn't as strong. It was, rather than a roadblock, it was a detour in the matter of being able to do things that I wanted to do. And then, <clears throat> other side effects that I felt, I was on 75 milligrams for a while, but I ended up going to 100 milligrams. Um, and when I got to 100 milligrams, I felt severe headaches for a while. I only took it for about a week and a half until I decided to go back down to 75. And looking back on it, as weird as it sounds, it was a really special time in my life. And I mean that in a positive way because I found out a lot of who I am. Um, and I posted a video called Appreciate Adversity. That was, I think, my first video. And I, I learned a lot about myself. I started to see things as they really were rather than putting, you know, shades over different things and filters over different things um, to see how I wanted to see them. It generated a lot of happiness. I'm happy with where I am now um, and I'm happy that it happened early on in my life. If you guys have any further questions, because I know this was a big question for a lot of people, feel free to contact me. I have a Facebook page if you're watching this on YouTube. Best way to contact me is through there. I'm on Facebook quite often and it's the easiest way to write back and forth. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you found some value in this. And if you did find value, I'd really appreciate it if you went below, you liked it, or you shared it, or you commented, hey, Marcello, this actually helped. Thank you. And that's it. Enjoy the rest of your day, and remember, make today your bitch. All right? Hey.